to see you. Mate. Hey, Gino. Nice to hey. see you. How you doing, boys? Very good, mate. Pretty good. good. Now I know we work in an industry where occasionally things go wrong. Suddenly you have to run off to A and E or casualty. Have you ever had been there yourself or take any of your boys down there or girls? I never been down to casualty. No. I'm a real man, I'm like Rambo. If I cut myself, I saw myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Rambo here, yeah. what about you, man? I'm a real wimp. If I cut myself, I'm straight down to casualty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, got a little nick on yeah, the finger yeah. there. Well, no, it has to be a big one, stitches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well. Oh, well, Otherwise, I've been a casualty a few times myself. Yeah. And when you say casualty, what do you think of, ladies and gentlemen? Going to hospital or that wonderful programme on BBC One on a Saturday night? I know it's been going for years, and lucky enough, we've got two of the stars on the show here today. Please welcome Rebecca Gibbs. <laughs> Lovely to see you. And you? Oh, dear, me sento male. That means you're the most beautiful thing he's ever seen. How are you, Rebecca? I'm really well. I don't know about Rambo, more Rocky Balboa. Yes. He's going to be more Rocky. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to be your Rocky. What do I call you, Rebecca or Nina? Do people often come up in the street and say hello, Nina? Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, Nina. But it's Rebecca, Bex. And what part of the training of paramedic, is it something that you've found quite easy to kind of get into? or? Yeah, I mean, it's been... I've been in it for two years now, mm. so it's been quite a while. But, yeah, initially I found driving ambulances and all the medical, mm. it's a lot. So you're doing your, your job on telly and you're learning your lines and stuff. Sure. And then, of course, you've got all that added pressure on top. But, it's mm. yeah, it's great. Any, any, any good in the kitchen? Come on, let's oh, have a yeah. look at your bag. Give it a good old shake and yeah. see what you've brought along here for Gino today. OK. OK, there go on, go. then, my love. Now... Wow. Mmm. Very interesting. Yeah, go on, tell us what you bought. Well, mainly, obviously, we've got our veggies, but I'm a big fish fan. Mm -hmm. And I love salmon. It's just great. It's got all your your, your, your proper oils, your essential mm. oils in, your omega-3s, and it's a great alternative to meat. So I live on fish. Excellent. In fact, it's I had it last night. So. Salmon is great because you can do many, many things. It's excellent. Okay. And you've yeah. got that lovely pawpaw, you've got beetroot and... Oh, oh, like yeah, that. yeah, your sugar snacks, beetroot. I'm a big fan of the onion family. Garlic and onion, obviously, mm -hmm. good for your blood. Um, Is it? Very. Yeah. Lovely. Very good. Right. How much did you spend then, my darling? Uh, five pounds exactly. Five pounds on the button. Absolutely. That I don't really brilliant. care if I win today, to be honest. <laughs> 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 He's no, just having he's... a good time, and she's lovely, isn't she? Mm. Oh, she's absolutely gorgeous. It's great to have you here. And, and you brought your mate with you, you, haven't you? I have, indeed. The old staff nurse? That old nurse. No, oh, that old nurse, yes. Yeah. Georgina Pazova. <laughs> Gorgeous. Come and meet Tony. Hi, Hi Tony. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, stepsister, Nina. Hey, yeah. how's Nina's there? I'm the evil stepsister. Yeah, do you guys get on outside then? No, I hate her. Really? <laughs> she's not your mate at all. <laughs> uh, she's busy chatting yeah, with we... Gina over I there. I know, they're, they're yeah. already at it. Um, no, we get on really well. We're, mm. we're really good mates, actually. Go out a lot. It's kind of nice, that, though, isn't it? Mm. You're working in there. It must yeah. be really difficult when you're having those kind of moments when you have big rows or something on set. Oh, no, it's quite funny, actually, because we just yeah. sort of do it. We, we go for a take. We're, like, yeah. having, like, massive arguments, and then the minute they shout cut, we're in... Fit to Giggles, laugh at, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's what good friends are all about. Me yeah. and him always <laughs> laughing. Exactly. Let's have a look in your bag, then. Give it a gold <laughs> shake. Ah! Are you a veggie? I am. Yes. yes. Tell us what you brought along for Tony then. Well, I've bought halloumi cheese, mm -hmm. um, basically because I just live off it. I'm completely addicted to it. Mm. I could sit there and slice it and fry it and eat the whole block. Um, and then I've bought um, some blueberries because um, I have those a lot in mm. smoothies and stuff. I know they're very good for you. And they've got yeah, absolutely. antioxidents. They are. Mm. Absolutely. They have. And I love mud butternut squash. It's like Beautiful. a great alternative to. Well, right, you've got pasta, tomato and onion. How much did that cost you then? Um, £4.98. Well, very good indeed. What do you think, Chef? Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly delayed there, wasn't he? Thinking, what am I going to do? I'm going to fry it again for him. <laughs> <laughs> come up with something else. All right, you have a bit of a think I and will. I'll come back Thank and see you. you in a moment. Hey, you're getting on quite well there, you oh, two? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, then what are you going to cook for her? Come on. OK, I'm thinking um, with half of the salmon, we can do some little deep-fried salmon in herbal crust, and we're going to serve it with a nice beetroot risotto, mm -hmm. something a little bit different. Then I'm going to do a nice uh, uh, mousse with papaya and risotto. 
you know, something sweet. Some of this, uh, this uh, sugar snap. Yeah, sugar I'm snap. I'm gonna do these. half of them with the salt and pepper and the other half with chili. Mm. So half I'm gonna use it for Ooh, the salmon. Good, sounds good. Then yeah. I'm gonna do yeah. some salmon on toast. You know the way we do prawn uh, prone yeah. on toast? Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. do salmon on toast with sesame seed, there's some chili, Ooh. sugar snap, and if I got time, I'm gonna bake one of the onion with a beetroot risotto inside. Oh, Only wow. if I got time. Only yeah. if you got time. Okay. Because I think I'm going to be yeah. very distracted. Happy. Really nothing, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> Rebecca's absolutely <laughs> delighted. But uh, let's find out what Georgina's going to get, shall we? Uh, well, we're obviously going to do pasta. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> You've got, got no choice bag. of that. Yeah. Um, but we're going to do three different, so three bowls of pasta. Mm -hmm. One, um, in Italy, have a, a, a dish called amitriciana, which is mm. with bacon and onions. But we're going to um, change the bacon, swap the bacon for halloumi cheese, because mm. that fries really well. So we'll dice it up with the onion, fry it off, and make a nice sauce for, the, yeah. for some of the pasta. We'll make a fresh tomato sauce for some more of the pasta, and then we'll do a roasted butternut squash with a creamy sage sauce with some more pasta. <sighs> and then we're going to do, with the blueberries, we're going to do an upside down cake. Beautiful, baked. wow. So you've got to get that in the oven really quick. No, yeah. It just takes a little bit of time. OK, and uh, what do you think of that then, Georgie? That sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. you happy? can't wait. I'm starving. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we like. We like hungry people here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm going to give our shows 20 minutes when I say ready, steady, cook. OK, up, up and away we go. Gino's going to do two different types of salmon. One's going to be like a... You remember that prawn okay. toast? You get that prawn toast sometimes when you go down to the Chinese takeaway or maybe a Chinese restaurant. Well, he's actually going to spread that on the toast there, toast it, uh, coat it with a little bit of sesame seed, maybe pan fry it, and that might even go in the oven. I don't quite know yet. The other half, of course, is going to be cooked down. We've got our lovely risotto oh, there. We've got papaya, and that's going to go on top of risotto. So uh, two or three sorry. different variations of risotto. But it's going to be uh, hit yeah, we, with that lovely start. beetroot. Yeah, you've never had that before, have you? Beetroot risotto. Always the first time we try and introduce all sorts of things to you on the program. Three different types of pasta. Roasted butternut squash, fresh tomato, halloumi cheese and onion, and a blueberry upside down um, sponge cake. Lots and lots of lovely recipes coming your way. Now, chef, what's the most Easily. important thing to do then? Get the beetroot on I or I think what? the beetroot on, the rice on, and the onion into the... Uh, well, I need some uh, boiling uh, Water. oil as well. Boiling oil, OK. Yeah, because what would that I need be to for get, then, chef? Well, for the, but I need to deep fry the uh, salmon because I'm going to prepare a nice crust. Yeah. With the breadcrumb and everything else. Oh, so lovely. Put all this on. on. Mm -hmm. And I think vegetable oil is absolutely enough. And maybe if you I want can something get, deeper? If I can get something deeper, so at least I don't have to worry that it's going to splash your look. Okay. Vegetable oil is absolutely perfect. Vegetable oil does the trick for you. Does the Gina? trick. Yeah, because okay. you know, sometimes I deep fry in olive oil. Yeah. Or many people, even crazy people, Deep fry and extra virgin olive oil. I don't see the sense in that. Waste, why? Waste, why, why, why? Absolutely waste of money because when you heat extra virgin olive oil, it starts what's to gonna, burn. It, it, it's all the flavor goes away, all the nutrition value goes mm. away, and then it's too strong for deep frying. My dear. Lovely. Cut it in a quarter. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you've got your little and gloves on for you. I've got my gloves. Darling. You feel like you're at work. Did you bring those? Did you have them in your pocket? Oh, for yeah, work? I've always got a pair of rubber gloves on me. <laughs> don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> okay, what I'm doing? Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm yeah. going to have to do some bocconcini mm. di salmone. Tell me about that. All right, bocconcini di salmone is uh, we're going to do chunks of salmon. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to put salt and pepper, then we're going to have a little bit of egg, flour into the breadcrumb, and we deep fry them. Beautiful. And we're going to serve this one with the um, risotto. Lovely. Which is absolutely beautiful. Now, when you do bocconcini di salmone, one thing that you're gonna see this on the skin, all the scales have been off. Mm -hmm. One thing that I like to keep on is the skin. Why? Because when you deep fry, I like the little bit of bitterness of the skin. Because otherwise the salmon is too sweet. Okay, too sweet and a little bit too oily sometimes. It's, it gets oil, but with the skin it helps to keep everything together nice and beautiful. Beautiful, okay. So Fantastic. this is, uh, uh, Ansley, this is the kind of size yeah. that I would like to have, see? Uh -huh. A nice bocconcino. Okay, so okay. you keep this size, then we deep fry them and we're going to put a beautiful beetroot risotto next to it. Yeah. The only problem with this is a little bit of salt because if there is extra moisture, it goes away. Okay. So then when you deep fry them, then the water doesn't Tell us how much salt into... goes on there. Okay, the Rebecca, best thing have you ever do... tried bocconcino before? I haven't. No, it's just going to be a Vieni qua, Rebecca, vieni qua. Okay, a little bit of salt. 
Mm -hmm. And we leave them on the chopping board because the salt it, it reacts as uh, absorbing the moisture or release the moisture. Okay. Both of them. So keep them on the side and Beautiful. then we deep fry them later. Lovely. And you're going to get on there and do oh, a bit yes. of stuff. Oh, I'll yes. come yes. back so and see you. Okay, we're down here yeah. with Chef Tony Tobin. We've got about 16 minutes to go. Tell us how you're going to be sorting this off, Chef. Right. Do I, you want sage over here now? Uh, no, I'm going to make a sage cream sauce at the end, so don't worry too much about that. Okay. Um, but, but my only um, advice is that if you're going to use butternut squash, yeah. yeah, lovely. If you're going to use butternut squash um, and you've only got 20 minutes to cook it, see if you can get it peeled. Peel it. If you can get it peeled. <laughs> Buy it peeled. Buy it peeled, I'll listen to him. He's winding you up there, darling. <laughs> right, okay. so... Uh, she's doing well. She's chopping up your onions for you, George, down there. Very, very You're doing well. a fantastic job. Don't worry about it, my love. Is that Everybody right? has their own way of, sort of chopping up onions. We've got 15 minutes to go now, gentlemen. What we're going to do is we're going to fry this halloumi and just keep it frying in some oil until we get lots of colour on there. Yeah. And then we'll have the onions. we get colour on the onions. We'll put some garlic in there, some oil. And that's going to be a sauce mm. in itself. For our pasta, now yeah. that, that water should have really been boiling when I put that pasta in. Okay, um, but it, it wasn't quite there. But I'm stuck for time. This takes about 12 minutes to cook. Okay, so you so. want to get it on because you want to take it out and you want to toss things. Exactly. Okay, so we've got the halloumi and you've got some red onion in there. I need the lid on there. There we are. Got a little lid. Yeah. There we go. Put mm. that on there. Now, tell us uh, about the old halloumi here. Um, you just you just want to fry this off. How do you normally have it? Just pan fried like this. No, George you, is there. You carry no, on. You carry on. She's busy, isn't she? She wants to. She wants to win this one. She wants to beat her mate. Okay. Do you normally fry it like this, or do you just have it in slabs? I, I have it in slabs. Yeah. Mm. And just sort of fry it off. And... Have you tried it? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. You know, me? I grew up with Greek people all the time. <laughs> I just know what this stuff's like. It gets a little bit rubbery when it gets cold, so you mm. do need to eat it warm, don't mm. you, George? I love it. Okay. I think it's brilliant. I like eating it cold. I like the way it squeaks on your teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So you don't have no, to. No, we just we've got none of that. Lovely. Okay. Just keep it with until all the Here we are. are I'll there. change this tone. You've got a tray Thank on the you, top mate. there. Thank I'll you. change that for you if I can. So we can see what's happening inside. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. You want to stir that round? Not Here we are. Top Let's top pop that on top of there. Yeah. Not good at coffee. Beautiful. Terrible. Okay, right. What are we making here, oh. Chef? This is for your blueberry uh, sponge pudding, is it? Yeah. I'm doing four ounces of uh, mm -hmm. sugar, four ounces of butter. Mm. And two, it should be two eggs, but I'm going to put three. Yeah. Just to play safe. Great. What's it like being staff nurse then? Do you, do you feel your character's a bit bossy? Because you, you can be a little bit cold, can you? A little bit distant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And is that it's really usually when I can't remember my lines. Can you really? <laughs> do you forget? So I just pretend I'm being distant, but actually I'm trying to think of what to say now. <laughs> but it works for you, doesn't it? Yeah. Luckily, Fantastic. she is quite a cold character. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, mm. Yeah, I love it. I love being um, a nurse. I've always wanted to be one. Yeah. And what about the uh, the idea that, that these... I was talking to the chefs earlier on about kitchen casualties. Do they ever have scenes where people come in and they've had sort of all sorts of, you know, cuts or... Um, stab, I should say stab wounds. Actually. It's not as bad as that. We don't stab <laughs> each other in my, the kitchen. My dear here. Might stab each other here, but yeah. not on casualty. <laughs> no, um, we, ha we did have a storyline recently, actually, where... A chef like these two mm -hmm. came in and he had a massive um, sort of cleaver yeah. in his foot. A big, big, big yeah, that chopping was, knife. Yeah. Oh, wow. It, was, it wasn't real, though. Painfully. It wasn't real. <laughs> it it looks quite real, though, doesn't it? I'm not yeah, quite. Yeah. Look, looks really real. Yeah, yeah. How they made it look that? The makeup made it look really real. Yeah. Because um, the soup, he'd had an argument with a sous chef and he dropped it on his foot. Oh, dear. Oh, that sounds gruesome to me. It and really it does. does. OK, look, let's see what Tony's doing here. He's got the blueberries. Why have you heated them up a little bit before, Chef? Just to get them starting to melt down a little bit. They'll yeah. start to pop. OK. And they'll release all those lovely juices. And, and what have you got there? What's the mix again? It's for four ounces of um, butter, four ounces of sugar, four ounces of flour, and I'll put three eggs in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. And that and takes 45 minutes in the oven. <laughs> 45 minutes. We'll come back and see you tomorrow then, Tony. Yeah. All right, I'll speak with you shortly. Let's go back down here. We're in the Red yeah. Tomato Kitchen. Hello. And uh, uh, that's enough, my darling. That's it. Oh, nearly there, nearly there. We've just... Uh, and if that goes, you know, if that happens, yeah. and sometimes it goes a little bit too far, what do, you too far what do you normally do? Oh, I wouldn't know. Yeah. I'm sorry. Add, add, add a little bit of milk to it. OK, really? you want to put more cream to it. If you add a little bit of milk, if you, when you're whipping your cream... Yeah. And it gets... And, and it, it gets just... 
Yeah, it goes too far, basically. It starts yeah. to turn to butter. You're looking for that lovely little sheen on the top, and soon as you can see that's gone that. past that sheeny mm. stage now. Yeah. So that's fine, actually. Work nice. that. I don't know what he's actually going to be making with it. Yeah. I was going into a mess. This is for the toast, is it, Tina? Okay, this is for the toast. Well, yeah, that's yeah. excellent. That probably can go off for waiting for the rice. OK. I'm doing, if you can uh, do me a favour, if you can peel this, uh, yeah. cut, in, uh, mm. cut in mm. a half. OK, let's, uh, please. let's get you organised here. And then, Tilly, what I've done here, I made a cream, yeah, a cream on, with, the, uh, with the salmon and the herbs and a little bit of salt. Yeah. And then what you want to do, very simply, you put on top of the bread, OK? You spread, and this is excellent for a starter or for a nibble if you've got some gas. You just put it on top, a little yes. bit of sesame seed on top. Beautiful. And then we fry it, and it's done. OK, so a bit of pan so Just fried. a few sesame seeds. Just like yes. sesame prawn toast exactly, or something. Exactly, exactly. So it gives Beautiful you the idea, idea of sesame prawn on toast. OK. OK, that's fun. Mm. And you can do this one with salmon. You can do it with fresh tuna. Yeah. You can do it with any kind of fish who's got the same kind of softy texture. Prawns, of course, would have been absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. Now, Chef, but talking in terms of texture, I'm talking about different types of pasta, the quality of the pasta. How do you tell the quality? What are you looking for? What does it offer you? What's the difference? Well, first of all, it is also when you buy the packet, is the colour. Mm. OK, if it's got a beautiful bronze colour, mm -hmm. it means that they use the diced bronze when they filter the pasta, when uh -huh. they make the shape. Okay. And that means it's going to keep all beautiful and al dente. Mm -hmm. So, and of course, the best tip, buy the expensive one. Okay. You will not go wrong. And it's not that much more expensive. No, no, we're talking about no, we a lot penny. of pasta, guys. Okay. No, we're talking about pennies. It's, okay. no, you know, it's no question of a lot, a lot of money. Do you spend a lot of money on your pasta? Uh, I don't really eat a lot of pasta, but okay. yeah, I do like fresh pasta. You can't mm. miss it, can you? Uh, okay, fresh. I don't know what the chef is yet. I, can't, I, th I agree with you, but what do you think? Fresh or the Durham wheat dried pasta? You know, if it's, I much, much prefer the dry one because it keeps the shape uh, nice, much, much better. Yeah. And it's also, you don't have the problem that you're going to stuck, stuck with, the, you know, uh, with, with each other. Okay. You know, but the best tip about pasta, whatever you do, make sure that you put a lot of water into the pan. Okay. Okay, no oil. This thing of putting oil into the bowl is nonsense. Mm. A lot of water and yeah. salt. Oh, So wow. allow the pasta to you know, go it around, they stir it all the time. That's the best way to do it. Lovely. Okay? So lovely, what I'm doing lovely. is really, a little bit of egg. Yeah, and do you want this cut in half? If we can cut it up and chop it up in little pieces. OK, then I'll get you a spoon to scoop that out. Here we are, Bex, there you go. Thank you. And I'm going to cut that up in little pieces. And this one, see? OK. It's just with coated breadcrumb and herbs, okay. straight into the deep frying pan. Uh -huh. And this one, the bocconcini, are beautifully ready. Right, now, it's in breadcrumbs, uh, it's deep fried. Some people might say, I don't want to deep fry it. Can you spray it with oil on a tray in the oven? Excellent, you can do that. But okay. the tip is, make sure the breadcrumb is toasted. OK. So at least you've got a nice crunch. OK. So toast the breadcrumb, blitz it with the herbs, spray a little of oil into the oven. Beautiful. And it's nice beautiful. little tip there. Okay, guys, okay, this everything's one kind of moving along. Need to get this one beautiful. Sorry, yes. All right, we've got those. They're cooking down in the chilli and everything. They smell absolutely fantastic. Do you like those, Betsy? That see? smells great, that yeah. That really, really is good, good, isn't it? Very, very intense. You really have to like chilli for that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do. Oh, wow. Now, and now this one... I'm what about bad. you? How, how, did, how did you adapt to sort of working for Casualty? I know it was a couple of years ago, but sort of just being on set and everything... Is, and it ha well, for instance, a lot of people don't realise, I think, that it takes about, what, eight or ten days to make one programme? Yeah, it right? really does. And sometimes longer because we do a lot of stunts and stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Each story is obviously independent of each other. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, lots of stunts and, you know, we're out on location, lots of outside mm -hmm. work. And... Well, what about all those medical procedures? Because I was working for City Hospital and you oh, really, really do... Yeah. yeah, you have to yeah. change, you have to learn so much, you have to learn all about... The terminology. You know, different... Ah, that's Absolutely. the word, Absolutely. Yeah. It's a different language, you know. Do you find it easy? Um... I, I, I have to learn it, like yeah. everybody. But we have medical advisors, mm. like we have three mm. more sometimes on yeah. each episode. So we're yeah. getting advised all the time. There yeah. isn't any sort of room for right. mistakes. Right, so there's professional such. people. It's just someone's yeah. like having a chef here, oh, isn't they, it? They, Telling you to oh, yeah. chop it this Thank way. Thank the do Lord. That. I know, absolutely. Thank the Lord. But absolutely. yeah, they really are. They're a great help and, and they're all doctors and paramedics. They make everything look so real, aren't they? All the blood scenes and absolutely. everything. Absolutely. I mean, makeup, the whole crew are great. Yeah. And they're really, I mean, it's all about the detail at Casualty. Sure. So you've got to think, you know, the makeup that they, this, not just blood, it's how old is this blood? Mm. And they make it out of fantastic sugar and food dyes. So you're doing a scene and Literally. it smells. 
very sweet. So we can set. make blood in the kitchen here then, could yeah. we? Oh, I think we could. Okay, just a bit of sugar, just like a sugar, you know, <laughs> sugar <laughs> syrup, a little bit of red little, dye. Yeah, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? I think it's lovely. It's but look, if you can chop this one, if you can chop all those one up for me. What's that? And chop fold them up. into the. Uh, okay, let's cream. get rid of all those bits, Bex. Here we are. If I get rid of all of this, thank you. you. And you can chop that all up. Great. Okay. Thank you. See, that's really what I'm doing. Here. This is. I made the basic for the risotto. Just yeah. Bit. Which is a bowl, of course, because we got for time reason. I boiled a little bit of rice. Yeah. And then a little bit of onion, and uh -huh. I made a puree of the beetroot with a little bit of salt and just a touch of uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil, so you get a nice Nothing cream. else. Nothing okay. else. Now, now this is going into the risotto, Gina's version of the risotto. You're not using risotto rice, are you? No, I'm using the uh, long grain one, because, yeah. you know, it, you know, if you haven't got a, if you haven't got the risotto rice, don't panic. Just boil the long grain one okay. and make it into a risotto like I'm doing now. About the, four minutes to go now, guys. But the colour is absolutely great. It can do, you know, very, very red, ah, very beautiful. beautiful. Look right. at the vibrant okay. colour okay. in there, guys. And it's going to be so good for you. You know all that sort of nutrient values that we get in the beetroot and blend it with the rice and the okay. onion. Everything's this in one, there. We can go We're into the bowl off and we can uh, not fold it toast. In. We've got our deep fried this salmon one, there. One. We put the salt uh -huh. on there to draw it out. Papaya. Those, Everything's happening here. Let's get back down to Red Tomato Kitchen. Oh, yeah. Three different types of pasta. Our chef promised us. And look at that. They're all in the bowl there. All the different things. Can you remember what went into there, Georgina? Um, that was herbs, yeah. fresh chopped herbs and fresh tomatoes, just yeah. fried. Tossed in a bit of olive oil, oil then, hot yes. olive oil. So you're picking up some tips here yes, then. I'm going to okay, be making yeah. these at a dinner party at some point. Um, that's butternut squash, well, so roasted, but it was actually fried, wasn't it? Okay. With, with olive yeah. oil, with sage and cream, uh -huh. and what he put Garlic a bit of wine in. And so, Salt yeah, and pepper, white wine, which we, which we uh -huh. fried And finally down here, do you remember and what the last one was? was? Oh, halloumi mm -hmm. fries, cubed and fries, with um, chopped onions, which were fried, mm -hmm. and... Um, mm. uh, so onions, oh, garlic, garlic. Uh, lots of herbs, olive oil, lemon juice. Yeah. Lemon juice at the end. Is the food lemon on juice. set as good as this, then? Um, marginally. <laughs> marginally. Marginally. Well, how does it compare to inventive. hospital food, then? Because a lot of people are talking about, you know, hospital food not being particularly good and stuff like that. And well, I've never... Oh, touch wood. <laughs> but you, well, you've never been... You've never had an accident? You've never been a casualty before? Oh, no, I have, but I was in and out. I, oh, really? I, what happened to you, then? Well, I was working in a bar and I, and I fell on a champagne glass. <laughs> oh, God. And I missed, nearly missed my main artery. Oh. Well, no, I did miss it. Yeah, <laughs> nearly missed it. <laughs> I missed it we by about... You. <laughs> Two minutes, Chef. <laughs> I missed it by about that much, yeah. apparently. So I might not have been here now. I know, well, you're here now, yeah, aren't you, my darling? Are you enjoying the experience? Yeah, it's amazing. Really good. Any, any interesting news stories you're going to tell us about what's coming up in Casualty? No, you have to watch it. Really? <laughs> are you going to get nastier or are you going to get nicer? Oh, I think it's time for a bit of redemption. Ah, oh, oh, redemption. Yeah. Staff nurse, they really do control their wards, don't they? <laughs> All staff nurses out there So, what are you talking about? This is my place, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. They're very dominant. Right, clear up, get this organised. <laughs> it's like a chef, really, running his kitchen. <laughs> One and a half minutes to go. Tony is adding butter to our beautiful little mm. bits of uh, butternut squash there. He's got extra bits of halloumi cheese frying on. He's mm. tossing the remainder of all those lovely herbs and spices mm. along with the toasted halloumi, pan toasted halloumi, into the pasta. All different types of pasta here coming, guys. This is going to be really exciting. Briefly back down here to Gino. OK, happy? Yeah. All right, then you've got a bit of risotto that's going into your uh, uh, red onion there. OK, that's it. Pick that up here. Let's grab that and bring that down here for you. OK, here we are. It gets a bit hot, this stuff, yeah. doesn't it? Oh. Hey, it's mannequin here, I tell you. Right, let's switch all of these off. OK, ladies and gentlemen, about 50 seconds to go now. And hopefully our chefs are going to get all this food out on time. We'll just have to wait and see. Here we are, we've got our beautiful toasted bread coming out. That's been spread with a little bit of salmon and all those lovely herbs. Tony's tossing bits of pasta. It's all very passionate and all very aromatic in the kitchen this afternoon. And we've got about 30 seconds to go. Just to remind you, audience, you're voting for what the chefs did with the ingredients they were given. Think about that. Have they impressed you? Is it something you can go home and perhaps do yourself? Oh, hold on. Think. OK, get ready to help me count down any moment now. Come here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop! Comes 
together, didn't it, in the last minute to remind you what our chefs had in their bag. Gino De Campo started off with a salmon fillet, long grain rice, sugar snap peas, beetroots, papaya and a large onion, while Tony Tobin had a large bag of pasta, some blueberries, halloumi cheese, butternut squash, tomatoes and a red onion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a bit like going down to a &E. It's all happening in here, isn't it, eh? All sorts of things are going on. But you pick up your cutlery and let it continue in the form of eating. Go for it, Rebecca. What are you going to call this, chef? Well, I'm going to do an Italian version first, if yeah. you allow me. It's uh, Rebecca, Rebecca, Beato, get a baker. <laughs> yeah. This is Italian. Okay. The English one is quick. Dial 999 because this dinner is going to be fine. Ah, <laughs> bravo, bravo. Very good. Okay. But the Italian okay. version was better. You cut into like there, my darling. Cut into that salmon. Oh, Tell yes. us how you prepared all of this. Well, dinner. I did the bocconcino salmon, yeah. which uh, I uh, coated them in breadcrumb with herbs, mm -hmm. and then we deep fried them. And then I did this very, um, you know, a bit of different beetroot risotto, a little bit of uh, yes. Gianni Versace color, you yeah. know, nice and bright. Then I did uh, uh, salmon on uh, um, some bread, which I fried with sesame seed, and I did the sugar, sugar snap with a little bit of chili, a little bit of onion, salt, a lot of salt. So it gets a nice contrast. I baked, nice. really nice. I baked yeah. one of the onion. So it's yeah. a roasted onion stuffed with risotto. And then here I made like a papaya oh, mousse so with a little bit of uh, um, honey. Yeah. Just a drizzle of honey. So you get this beautiful sweet. Oh, it's nice. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Ah. Good. Mm. Not yet, but mm. I will do later. Believe me, I always have a little Love bit of a nibble. That's really tasty. I'm a really big fan. OK, and then just a Sesame little fun. bit of that. Not too much for you there. Here we are, Bex. You have a try of that. Tell us what you think. Do I need to clean my palate? No, I don't. No, you just go with it. <laughs> That's the one you made it. That's really lovely because it's fresh. It's not, but it really gives you that sweet kick. Lovely, brilliant. It's not okay. heavy. That's well lovely. done, really Debaka. <laughs> brilliant, Dino's on form over there, and Wait. your turn. <laughs> I know it looks so good, doesn't it? it looks really, amazing. some lovely, yummy food. I'm what are you going to call this, Tone? To... Oh, I think it was quite an operation, but I think we passed mm. the test. <laughs> 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 Lovely. OK. Um, and what amazing. did you do with all your ingredients? Well, basically, with the, with the big bag of pasta we had, cooked it all. Mm. It's plenty for the crew. Um, but we got it all in a pan, and then we, then we made our three sauces. Mm. So let's start with this one. We uh, diced up the... Um, or Gigina halloumi diced cheese. up the halloumi, and we got that frying, got some nice caramelation on there. And then we added the onions, and we kept that going, kept the caramelation, because it gets a real sweetness from that. Mm. And then we chopped up some uh, parsley and some basil, put that in, olive oil, garlic, and then we just... Once the pasta's Does cooked, that taste we just good? Amazing, that yeah. yeah. This really one, good. we diced up the uh, butternut squash, mm. and we fried that off, just with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we added some white wine. We we burnt off the alcohol from the white wine, added the cream, reduced it down, put in some fresh sage, mm. and just let that thicken up, toss that through. Here, we uh, used the remainder of the onion, and we just very quickly fried that off with the fresh tomato, mm -hmm. quickly so it doesn't all m mush up too much, yeah. with some fresh basil and olive oil and garlic in there. Here, I just roasted off the rest of the butternut squash with some halloumi we had left, and that's got orange, lemon, and lime juice on there. Here, we made a, a, a basic sponge mix, a quick sponge mix, which was four, 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 <laughs> uh, three, four flour, four sugar, four butter, Butter, three eggs, the blueberries in the pan, put it on the top, whacked it in the a oven. Bit hot. That's it, okay. No, no, that'll be that'll be lovely. Mm. Is that good? Really nice, huh? Yeah? Mm. Yeah, she's <laughs> liking that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, our casualty guests are absolutely delighted. But what about our studio audience? Are they gonna go for the green peppers or the red tomatoes? We're about to find out as we ask them all to please vote now. Up they go, and look at this. This is exceptionally close. Ooh. Can you believe it? There's just one more. Green That's Thanks. brilliant. That's right. Hey, congratulations Thank to you. you. Mm -hmm. There you I'm go. And £100 spending money, which I believe oh, you're going to donate to one of your favourite charities. Yeah, Cancer Research. Cancer Research. Yeah. That's really lovely. Yeah. Thanks very much indeed. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank okay, you. thanks, Gino. There Thank you go. You. Well, well, George, that was a bit oh, close. But yeah. guess what? You get the hamper to take home Ooh, with you. Lovely. A gorgeous hamper, all sorts of lovely goodies lovely, in there. Great. You enjoyed it today? I've had the best time. 
I'm going to try all these out on the, my friends now. Yeah, great. Well, well there you go. So you've certainly inspired a few people Thank you very out much, there. Always a pleasure, coach. And uh, hey, haven't they been great, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I feel a bit strange. I'm used to seeing them in all that gear, that hospital <laughs> gear. <laughs> a really lovely Rebecca Gibbs and Jordina Bazova. <laughs> Okay, here we go again. Now, what have we got in store for you this afternoon? All right. Oh, boys. Ah, now, got two different types of the old endive there. We've got a nice bunch of radishes. That's very nice. And porcelain cheese. Oh, it's nice, unusual. A little bit of those What's that? nuts, aren't they? Are they? They're hemp seed, I believe. Yeah, hemp really? seed. Okay. Yeah, and we've also got some cocktail gherkins and a packet of pastrami. Well, that's your lot, boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> you should have heard the sharp intake of breath. <sighs> <clears throat> what are you going to do with this little lot? Why me first? Ah, it's Tony first. Oh, He's just having to think. Oh, um, well, to be honest, I just put it all on a plate with a nice piece of bread and that's it, off you go. Um, that's good. We nice would uh, wrap some of the port salut in the pastrami mm -hmm. and cook it off. Maybe uh, sprinkle a few of hemp seeds on the top. I don't know what they are, never used them before. Um, we'd chop some of the uh, pastrami up, mix it with some gherkins, maybe a little bit of, uh, make some mayonnaise or make a bit of a dressing and take the chicory off mm -hmm. and stuff the chicory. Sure. Um, we'd then <clears throat> uh, also make some pastrami salad, grate this radish because it's like really nice and peppery, chop up some chicory through there, lots of olive oil and herbs, bit of gherkin, bit of pastrami going on in there. Um, well, that's enough, I think. OK, OK, all right. And you didn't mention eggs, which I thought was an unusual tone, because we normally kind of go for that, don't we? Well, I just thought I'd leave Gino the eggs. OK, Gino, what about you? OK, Gino the eggs. Uh, I think we can start to do a nice... Uh, I don't know, Heinz. Uh, a fried egg toast with the pastrami and the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then we can do some kind of salsa with... Uh, what do you call this in English? Radish. Yeah. OK, radish, what do you a little bit of cheese, ra radicchio. Radicchio. Uh, a little bit of the gherkin and everything. You know, like a salsa and we um, stuff this one in, so like a little salsa crunchy. Mm -hmm. Then we can do some skewers, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Nice skewers. We roll the pastrami into the uh, cheese and into the radicchio. We skew it, we grill it. What are they? Yeah, hemp seed. <laughs> I don't know what to do with the MC, to be honest. OK. Well, Sometimes our chefs get confused, don't they, eh? We all get confused occasionally, ladies and gentlemen. That's what makes it so interesting. But, hey, we do need uh, our audience to vote once again. What's it going to be, the green peppers or red tomatoes, guys? Help us out and please vote now. Mmm, and just look at that, eh? What do you think, then, do you know? I'm dreading it. You're dreading it? Hey, you thought you were going to get away with this, mate. It's a Gino De Campo bag. Come oh. on, mate. Get them MC and let's oh, get God. cooking. <laughs> OK, your 10 minutes cooking time, Gino, starts now. What okay. can we do for you? Tony, what do you want to do? Can I make a sandwich? Sandwich. Make yeah. what you want, okay. mate. Oh, I'll use some um, chopping ball down there if you don't mind. I think That's I'm going right. to do the skewer, essentially. And okay. I'm going to do the... Um, should we do a nice crumbled egg with... Scrambled egg with a bit of pastrami inside. Absolutely, anything and you want there, Chef. Some of the deep fried leaves, what, you a butter or something like that. All right, here we are. Put that over here then, Chef. That's lovely. And I'll get on with the... I'll, I'll make the dip. Shall I make some nicer... Uh, some fried... You want to fry, fry a few of these off in a batter? Yes, if okay. we can. And then I don't know how we're going to do with this. How are we going to do I'll, with I'll this I'll grind seeds? some of it down for you, Chef. OK. I believe that the uh, Chinese use that. They kind of have it as a, like a bit of popcorn, the hemp seed we're talking about. You get these in health food shops, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, particularly good. They kind of fry a little bit off and they just sort of crunch it up a little bit between their teeth. I'm actually going to grind it down with a powder with a few spices and turn it into something really exciting. So watch this space. Right, Yummy. let's just take these off. OK. Colin, do you need uh, cheese? Yes, please. He needs a bit of everything um, over there, cheese, doesn't he? Cheese, pastrami, radish. Mm -hmm. OK, how much pastrami do you need? Three slices. Three. Okay. That's it. Let's loosen this up. So three. Mm -hmm. This is your cheese. Perfect. Gherkin. Okay. Like right. Anything you've got left? Yeah. Out, anything I've got left, Tony, I'll, I'll send over to you. I'm just trying to loosen these very, very gradually. What um, I'm going to do? I'm going to make some skewers here. Mm -hmm. And I thought if we can wrap the uh, cheese around the no, actually, if we can add the pastrami around the cheese, that will work much better. Oh, that'd be nice. You're just going to put those in a char grill pan. 
And then I'm gonna do some scramble them with the pastrami. Yeah, then I'm okay. just gonna do a char grill them. Yeah. And, I think um, our chefs are a bit sort of thinking on their feet here, guys. You know, sometimes we get bags a little bit confused because you saw the ingredients, you think, oh yeah, as Tone said, lay it out on a dish and have it with some nice bread. Type of thing you wanna do. So I'm obviously a bit we wanna give you a few. This is very confusing. <laughs> pastrami, the seeds and the cheese. Oh, don't worry about it, mate. Do That's you need any uh, pastrami? Because uh, I was okay. going to do a little scrambled egg. Oh, you this. can do. Yeah, no, you can take those, Tone. I'm just going to okay. literally just uh, make up a little bit of a batter in a minute. So what about pastrami? Are you a big fan, Tony? You like Cute. it? Love it. Absolutely love it. Pastrami okay. sandwiches. Oh, so one, you what do you love it with? Bread. <laughs> okay. 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 And uh, do you ever do you ever make any of those that you want? Do you know you can cut down? I'm just going to okay. give a bit to Tony. Okay. And do you ever use it, Tony, in the uh, restaurant, or do how do you make it? I don't, I don't know. I think it's better to buy it, to be honest. Okay. It's like well, we're a, talking it's a, about the old brisket of the it's old a, it's beef. It's a brisket. Aren't we? It's a pickle beef. Okay. And then it's then it's boiled till it's very very tender. And then you allow it to go cold. It kind of sets up, and then you slice it really really thin. Mm. But to be honest. Get it, buy it from a deli. If you've got a deli near you, then buy it from there. It's got a very similar taste. Is it me or it's got a very similar taste to um, salt beef? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Like it's, salt beef, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's more or less like the uh, salt, beef, salt beef one. OK. Uh, and I'm going to put some of those in a dry pan, chef, and try and... Uh, excuse the noise, everyone, and cook these off just like you'd uh, probably expect to get in China the way they do them there. We're just going to toast a few of those off, add a little bit of uh, salt to them. Celery salt would probably be quite nice, but we're going to see how we go with these, just toasting them off. I'll wait till the pan gets a little bit hot so it draws out all those lovely oils. Hey, so okay. what are done here? I think what are done, you know, this... Uh, the radicchio. I, yeah. I use the bottom part because it's nice and crunchy and al dente. Yeah. Then I did the pastrami, around with the cheese. I think a little bit of extra virgin olive oil or normal olive oil, yeah. just to give a nice char grill coat at the end. Oh, lovely. OK, chef. I, I wouldn't suggest to put salt at this point because uh -huh. it, it kind of takes away the moisture of the meat as well. And I, I don't want that. OK, don't okay? want to do that. All so right. this is nice. I, I think if you do a party or anything like that, you can have a few Oops. of the sewers. Yeah. And they're going to be beautiful. OK, and I'm gonna, I've got to add some extra. I've got a little bit of dried... Uh, Chili flakes here. Just a touch of that, not too much. Don't want to overdo it. I've got some coriander seed going in here. Again, all of these are just trying to introduce new flavours into our batter, which is going to be almost like a tempura batter. Can we make up that, Chef? A little bit of tempura batter? OK, I'm just... I'll do it straight away for you. I'm just preparing for some scrambled egg. Yeah. And I don't know you, but whenever I have a scrambled egg, I love to put a little milk inside. Do you? Yeah, because it gets all nice and... Um, uh, creamy. Okay. Sort of well, whatever you fancy. Salt, a little bit of, of uh, pepper, and that's it. And then what I do? I mix everything in the pan. Yeah. And then with a wooden spoon, I start to mix everything together before it goes on the heat. And then I put on the heat at the end. Once all the milk. Okay. See? Once all the milk and the egg all mixed together. Yeah. Then I put it then very slowly. It's it nice and creamy. Beautiful. Okay. Everyone's got their own techniques. That's what's so exciting, isn't it? I like that. Everybody's got their own style and of I'm doing And I'm going to put a little bit of this left pasta. Tony, do you need any more pasta? Mm -mm. OK, just half of that. Trust me, okay, Tony. OK, Tony, tell us what you're doing. I've grinded well, that down a little bit. Well, he's eating at the moment. That's what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll make... Tell I'll us make... what you're doing there, Tony. Yeah, what I'm doing is... I've made a little bit of salad with some grated radish. I'm desperately trying to remember that I've got bread under the grill. Yeah. Not to burn it, that's OK. Do you ever do that at home? I sometimes do that at home, leave the bread under the grill. You just oh. forget about it, don't I know you, you do. So here, here I've got go. grated horseradish, I've got chopped parsley, I've got the chicory, or endive, um, in there. And I'm going to add some mustard, lemon juice and mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. olive oil. Okay. Yeah. And kind of use that as a dressing to go with my sandwich and also go with anything else that you've got over there that you need. OK, lovely. Just look at that. Beautiful. And in we go with these, Gino, then we're going to fry yeah. these off. OK, I'm just going to try one of them. Thanks very much Let's for that see. tone. This is it. We've got all the spices and everything in there. You can see that. Kind of just pop that straight into some hot oil. I think the crucial part of this is the sparkly water that you use it. Yes, absolutely. It's very, an very excellent important. way to do it mm -hmm. with the sparkling water because it gets all nice and uh, light, the butter. So that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, I've got a quickie question today, and it comes courtesy of Gavin Lipseth from Leeds. Good afternoon to you, Gavin. He said, what is the difference between a bisque and a chowder? Tone, do you want to take that one? Bisque and chowder. OK. Well, a bisque is normally made with uh, shellfish, 
um, and it's uh, what's the word pureed, so it's a smooth soup, uh, and, and the shells are all blitzed up, and then it's strained, so all the all the uh, lumps, if you like, are taken out of it. And the chowder is is the opposite; it has the pieces of fish in it, and it's normally got potato in it. And it's thickened with crushed water biscuits over yeah. the top, which helps to thicken up as you serve it. OK, that's right. it. So that is the... Uh, it's really just about the uh, how it presents itself as a soup, really, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. OK, do you like chowder, then, Gina? You uh, I actually only ever tried it once. Yeah. OK, and um, I think it's a very, very nice... Um, I don't know, a fishy... Uh, you know, so which is, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It, it's honest, up your street, all right. To be honest, it's not my favourite one. <laughs> okay. I like when you when you, when you go to uh, you can go to certain parts of America, Gino, and they will serve it inside bread. So as you, the soup is served like a clam chowder inside the bread in the, like a like a cob loaf, and oh, it's I just see. it's a sensational. And of course, when you finish that, you uh, you have the bread to eat afterwards. Oh, nice. That's one. perfect. Okay. And does the bread not get soggy? Uh, no, not a, well. It does a little bit inside, but that's the beauty of it. That's the that's what makes it so interesting to eat. Okay, two minutes to go now, guys. I'm trying to get all of these in here, get these cooked off very very quickly. Well, I think what, what I'm doing now is I'm preparing like a, a mint sauce. Yeah. Because for the skewer, I think we want something a little bit fresh. Mm -hmm. Because we got the pastrami, which can be a little bit heavy with the cheese yeah, and the chicken yeah, yeah. sauce. Yeah. Salad. Okay. Uh, yes, well, I've got some. Ch I've got. What do you want, Tone? No, do you need this salad? Uh, I will do. Garnish, yeah. Okay. I, I, I can ser there. serve it around a, a yep. nice dish. No problem at all. We've got one and a half minutes to go now. Let's crack on, guys. We want to try and get all of this out of the way. We've got a, two, a combination of the two different types of leaves going around. Can here, I borrow Gina. some of the salad? Yeah, uh, please do. That's what it's there for. Okay, okay, I think I'm going to put some of the salad so it's nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. The two skewer on top. And this, I believe, is a great idea for a starter. Yeah. Great idea for a starter. Oh, you like the idea? Nibble, yeah, you? If you want. And a little bit of mint dressing on top. Uh huh. So it's nice and fresh. Okay, oh. one minute to go. Let's get these out. Look at these lovely crunchy pieces here. And I've used the hemp seed here. We're trying to find a way to incorporate that hemp seed. A little bit of a uh, dusted with a little bit of the old spice as it comes out of there. Okay, get that boiling up there. Okay, come on, Gino. Let's get it out here now. Mm hmm. Okay, then we've got this. Beautiful. Okay. How are you doing there, Tone? You going to be ready on time? I think so. Yeah, all right, then here we are. Nice little chopped chives going through there. Introduce a little bit of a light onion flavour here. Wow. Okay, fantastic. I've got the scrambled egg, which is beautiful, nice and. <laughs> all right, tell me, how do you want to serve those, Gino? The scrambled Yeah, if you put them all around. Yeah. Should we put a little bit of salt for this one? Just I don't really mind, Chef. Anything that you want, we've got the. Uh, I think we can put the scramble there. Tempura. This mm -hmm. into the. Nine, nine eight, eight scrambled egg on the yeah. top there. Seven, six, five, four. Okay, just as the oils are coming out of there, and I'll put that there. We're going to find out whether this tastes like popcorn. Are you going to try it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. There we are. Just a little fork, Gino. You don't need much. Now, pop that in there. And what are you going to call this then, Gino? Well, uh, I would say, what an achievement. This dish is radishing. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. We're finding out whether this tastes like popcorn. Now, tell us what we did here, Gina. Well, like get popcorn. It does like, taste like popcorn, doesn't is it? Is it? No, no, popcorn, I think, tastes a little bit better. Yeah, because this is a bit dry, a little smaller, seedier. Yeah, but they kind of... I mean, that's too nibble, is it? Mm. Well, what I've done, I did some skewers mm. with the pastrami, the cheese, the radicchio, a little bit of mint sauce around. Mm. Excellent, for, for, as I said, for a starter. Mm -hmm. Then uh, um, we prepared the, uh, all the leaves. You did like a tempura the, uh, batter. Like a tempura batter. Water and the um, a bit of flour. flour. And then I ground down all the seeds. We had some coriander seeds, the chili, the cumin seeds, and then the hemp seeds. We got bought a bag of hemp seeds, guys, which was uh, you can get the, in the health food store. And as I said, the Chinese use them with a bit of cop popcorn. So we've just toasted a few of those it's off. Actually a little no, bit of sugar and nice. cinnamon. And, and then uh, I did a scrambled egg with uh -huh. the uh, pastrami. A little bit of milk to give him nice and tender, and then the beautiful sandwich. And Tony did a bit of a pastrami sandwich there, didn't you, on Tony? Toast. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Bit of gherkin, some pastrami, some of the port salut cheese on the top, garnished with a bit of salad, shredded radish, uh, the radicchio, mustard, lemon juice, olive oil. Bob's your uncle. 
Wow, Bob's oh. your uncle. See you tomorrow from all of us. Bye-bye. Take care. See you soon. Mm, beautiful. Thank you, Jeff. Very good. Thank you, Jeff.